video has been sponsored by utsource.net. It is a provisional tool in electronic components field. Utsource provides different type of things such as ICs, modules, RF transistors and much more. For this project, I have ordered some components from their website and you can see the quality. It is just great and I have only paid few dollars. Check out the Utsource website from the link in the description box below. So guys let's talk about the circuit diagram first. So here I have used BC548 NPN transistor. You can also use any type of say any same type of NPN transistor like BC547. So for this case the base and the emitter pin are short circuited. So it means that the current flows from VCC to the ground through 2.2K resistors. Any current will not flow into the transistor's base, so it means that the transistor will act like an open circuit. So for this reason, the LED and the buzzer will not work. For the other case, when the it when the base and the emitter is open circuited, it means that when the wire will not connect it into the base and the emitter, then the current flows from VCC to the transistor's base through 2.2K resistor. For this reason, the uh, transistor will on and the current flows from the transistor's collector pin to emitter pin and the LED and the buzzer will on.
so guys let's talk about the circuit diagram first so here i have used bc548 npn transistor for sensing the ac signal when i am taking the signal where near the 3 pin outlet then the transistor 3 becomes slightly conductive this generator signal is very weak so we need to amplify the signal for running the led as well as the buzzer after that the output of the transistor 3 goes into the transistor 2's base for this reason the transistor 2 became conductive and at this stage the signal became intermediate now the signal sent into the base of the transistor 1 and as a result the signal is so strong that it can run the led as well as the buzzer